Hi, this is Dr. Fryer, and I wanted to show my steps before class of kind of how I have to have to set everything up. Um, so with the swivel, so um, this is the the swivel that I've been using, and I charge all this stuff after, uh, overnight. Uh, so I'm going to take the iPad that we're going to be using with the swivel, and I'm going to plug it in to the swivel. I've got to take off the microphone that is the one that I use. I turn that on. And then I put it in the holster. And then I'm gonna wear this one around my neck. And I have these earbuds that I have to put on because the remote students um, will actually just be heard through the, the earbuds. And that prevents echo from happening. So it's a little bit weird, but, but it works. Um, so I put in the right earbud, so I let both, them both in. And then, if you want to come over here, um, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to come, uh, kind of shoot the, the swivel here. Um, I'm going to power on the swivel, so I'll, I'll power my iPad on. I'm going to power the swivel on. It is going to pop up first, a little thing that says, do you allow the connection? And so I click allow. Both of these lights are green, which is, which is good. Um, actually, that one went red, now it's green. Now this is gonna ask me to connect my robot, which is the swivel, um, to my stream. And this is why I'm having to use Zoom right now. Uh, I guess there is a cable that I could get to plug into my laptop, but I haven't done that pro process yet. But I'm gonna tap here for Zoom. And so I refresh my meetings here. And so these are the meetings that I just put in uh, for today. And so I go ahead and start today's meeting and call in using internet audio. Now, I could have this video on as well. I am finding myself, you know, in front of my computer, uh, especially for our sixth grade class, um, you know, just, but, but, but for my computer classes generally, I'm looking right at that, mon that um, computer. So what I do is I, try, is I turn my video off here and then under my security settings, I actually turn off the waiting room and that lets kids join right away and so now what I'm going to do is over here, if you shoot my computer, um, I'm going to actually click my calendar event and I'm going to join the Zoom meeting from my computer. So the, the main thing I'm using the swivel for actually are all of these. All of these little um, black, they look like remote controls. Mr. Stephen, I can help you here in just a second if you want to hang on. Okay. I've just got another minute or two to record this. Um, these are all microphones. And so I'm gonna turn these on and then put these around the room. And this is so great because this allows students who are remote to be able to hear the students that are in class. So there's five of these. These will go around the room and then there's the one that I wear. So now I'm joining this Zoom call that I had, had, um, had started over here. Isn't that scary? That's why we do this early. I have to mute the microphone here and that's one of the tricks with this is if you have too many microphones on and you don't have headphones and those things, you, you just want one microphone source. And that's what I'm using the swivel for. So this is muted. Now I'm going to uh, share my screen. And so the actual call right now, and you can see this up here, um, this is showing, we're going to do uh, computer 6.1. This is what students are going to be seeing it is going to be their screen or my shared screen. And then they're going to see that video. There's one other thing I gotta do over here, and that is I turn over, if you can point here at my computer, I'm gonna start Air Server, and there, I could plug this iPad directly into my computer, and Zoom has a way of um, letting you directly connect your iPad, but when I do it this way, the students could also connect, and so I'm, I'm using Air Server as software, and it makes this computer function like an Apple TV, all of our sixth graders have iPads. So usually I will be teaching and showing most of the lesson on an iPad because that's, that's what the students have. It's a little slower to be able to connect and video actually doesn't show quite as well. So I, I usually still will play video on my computer. Uh, but here I am and I can, uh, I was shopping on Amazon last night. Um, I can uh, go to Google Classroom and I can do whatever I need to be doing, and I can show that for my students. So uh, now I am basically ready for class, and the only thing that I need to do um, to start class is I'll start my recording.